Hello and welcome to the Research Readiness Guide. This guide was designed to take you through the process of planning, researching, and writing. These skills will be required in all of your courses here at Hodges University in some form and will continue through every stage of your education. These skills are also central to your professional development and will make you a stronger, more critical thinker with the writing skills to communicate your ideas and arguments. I'd like to start off by saying what this guide is not. This guide is not a specific how to write an essay lesson. It is designed to introduce you to concepts of planning, critical thinking, and skills development that will improve any kind of writing. Writing and research are skills, not inherent talents. There is a process to both, and you can become an expert in both. The stages of writing and research outlined in this guide are used from beginning writers to seasoned professionals. The only difference between the two groups is the amount of practice put into mastering these concepts and consciously developing and improving your critical reading and writing skills. As you can see here, this guide is built around five sections. Preparing, organizing, drafting, reviewing, and final revising. At the end, there are also additional resources for your own personal development. From the first page, you can read the aspects of each section here. There's also a box to contact the librarian directly, and another for the Ask a Librarian system, where you can chat with the Hodges Librarian during regular hours, send us a text if you're viewing this page from your phone, or simply send in us an email to Ask Librarian System. I strongly encourage you to contact the librarian if you're having any issues with any part of the processes outlined in this guide. The Preparing tab goes over the process of starting your assignment. It's necessary that you understand your assignment and what your professor's expectations are. Preparing also means getting a bit of a background knowledge of what your subject is before you start writing. It also has information on dealing with bias, understanding bias, and how to read your research like a college student in order to maximize your time doing research. Organizing gets you started on planning your writing. Many novice writers skip this step, but it's vital to getting a well-structured paper and a good grade. The fact is, planning goes into all quality writing, right up to the most venerated authors. Students often don't realize this fact because they spend their time working with finished products. But working smart is central to building your research and critical thinking skills. Drafting, or composing, is a process of actually getting words down on paper. In this section, it is recommended that you focus on completing thoughts and paragraphs before going back to write. Often students will get caught up in fixing their errors and lose sight of the plan they created in the previous step. Drafting is a process, and as such, there are resources here that will help you find what works best for your writing. Reviewing is where Papers are won or lost, as the quote from William Zinser says here, rewriting is the essence of writing well when the game is won or lost. The revising process, just like any other item in this module, is a skill that can be built upon over time. It's not just rereading or having someone else take a look at a paper. It's a set of skills you develop to approach your paper with new eyes and take the time to critically evaluate whether you've met the goals of your assignment. Final revising. Final revising is very important for formal writing. This is where you focus on formatting, style guides, and the overall presentation of your paper. If your final draft looks more like a second or a third draft, this is going to distract your audience from your arguments, even if they're very well done. You can see here we've got the APA guide and Ask Librarian, and a little checklist here for everything for you to consider as you're going through your final stages before turning your paper in. Finally, there's additional resources. These will be updated over time to add items students might find useful. For the moment, it focuses on additional videos that complement items that are in the guide already, uh, as well as grammar and vocabulary building tools that you can use for personal study and improvement. We also have the writing and the disciplines module for you to look at, uh, which will take you to their page that has information on particular schools' writing guides, as well as recorded lectures and lessons on writing. Going back, this guide was intended 
to be a reference for students at every stage of their education here at Hodges, because a writer never moves beyond honing these basic principles and skills. The quality and level of a person's writing is often determined by how far they have gone to develop their fundamentals in research and persuasive argumentation. So thank you for watching this video, and please feel free to ask your librarian if you have any trouble.